All right, Mr. D, let's talk about those stink bugs, right? Because they do stink, right? Stinking stink bugs, that's <laughs> right. They, they do stink. They do stink. And that, that is a predator avoidance mechanism that they have. <laughs> uh -huh. And they consider me and you predators. Huh. And so when we mess with them, they will stink to try to get us to leave them alone. And birds and other critters that feed on them might not feed on them <laughs> if they you know, smell bad. Oh, they boy. probably taste bad, too. I've never tasted them, even oh. though they are eaten in some countries around the world. Oh, really? Humans actually eat stink bugs in some countries around the world. Check it out. You know, All right, I, I think I will take that out. How about but that? Uh, I can't imagine it. Uh, you probably, they're already flavored. You don't have to add any flavors oh, to them, I guess. Oh, all right. <laughs> but they are a major pest. Okay. Uh, stink bugs feed on just about everything that you and I feed on, anything that's good. And they're not leaf, they don't have chewing mouth parts. They're not leaf feeders. Uh, so you don't, it's not as easy to see the damage at first mm -hmm. when they first attack because they have piercing, sucking mouth parts and uh, they will stick their proboscis into fruit mm -hmm. or beans or peas or tomatoes or pecans Pecans, yeah. or anything that that has juice and you know yeah. you know uh, protein and things like that and they wow. will feed on it and any and any time they do that uh, if it's real small it destroys the the you know, if it's a cow pea that they're feeding on you know, or, or, or southern pea or something like that, then it, the pea that they're feeding on is not any good for consumption. With larger fruit like apples and pears and, and, and uh, you know, pecans to some extent, if they just feed one time, mm -hmm. then you've just got a dark spot, a discolored spot in the fruit, or that, you, you know, you can still, you can still, you know, And that's usually what that. you see on the kernel of the pecan, right, the little dark spots? Well, you'll see it, uh, you're right, right, correct, right. after you've, you know, cracked the kernel open in right. the kernel, there'll be a little bitty spot on the, on the, and sometimes there'll be three or four, mm. which, you know, if I'm a stink bug and I it tasted good there, I may scoot over <laughs> and, you know, right. do another, and, and they will feed, they can't feed on that pecan when the shell is hard, so they're okay. feeding on the pecan when the, when the shell is soft, okay. you good know, point. it's yeah. relatively good point. immature, okay. but all stages of the, you know, the stink bug, Stinks bugs undergo incomplete metamorphosis or gradual metamorphosis, egg, the nymph, and then the adult. And so the nymph also feeds on, oh you know, man. things just like the adult does right. with the piercing and sucking mouth part. But uh, adults are, uh, uh, there are several, several, you know, races, several species, several kinds of them that are, uh, green stink bug is probably the most common and uh, there are brown stink bugs. Mm -hmm. There's uh, there's stink bugs that have imported into the country a brown marimotted stink uh -huh. bug that, that's out there. Uh, <clears throat> but the most common is the green stink bug. Uh, the adults are strong flyers, mm -hmm. so you can wipe out every stink bug <laughs> in your garden, <laughs> and you can have a whole another flock come you know right. come flying in there. They are especially a problem uh, if, if you live close to agricultural fields mm. and they may be out there in the field and the farmer comes in and harvests the field mm. and they just, you know, they have no other place to go. It's so they, they start, they're out mm. looking for, for something to eat and, they, and they're trying to, uh, you know, build up some reserves to you know, they go into the winter and they'll overwinter as adults mm. and, and, um, the, and inside buildings, under logs, you know, in residue and things like that. They need a place they can find some some uh, protection and then in the springtime they will, the mm. adults will come out and lay eggs and, and start the whole process over again. Several generations a year wow. of the green stink bug uh, and the common ones around here, they can have four to five generations a, a year. Uh, female lays uh, egg masses. You can see the egg masses in, in, from 20 to 100 little Dang. barrel shaped eggs right, in, in, in a cluster. And if you see that, get rid of it right. you know, quickly because yeah. Uh, they'll hatch out. The nymphs stick together for a little while, and then as they go through several instars, they will spread out and start acting more like an adult. And then as soon as they sprout their wings, they get ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah. Are they a huge problem in agronomic crops? They are a big problem in agronomic crops. Uh, I was at a field day just the other day, and and the entomologist was out with a sweep net taking sweeps, oh. and and I think the uh, economic threshold is 12 stink bugs per 100 sweeps of a net. Mm. 
and uh, it's very easy to get that many. Uh, and so, you know, just a few can cause a problem in cotton. They, they mess up cotton bowls. Um, and, and so far, with all of the genetic engineering that we've had out there, uh, like the BTs yeah. and, and things like that, nothing, we've developed nothing that will, will, will kill stink bugs. Wow, how about so, that? So yeah. Nothing. For, most of the stink bugs are uh, susceptible to most of the pesticides, uh, synthetic pyrethrins. Mm -hmm. Uh, pyrethroids uh, and, and also the, uh, but, but the brown sting bug, the pyrethroids do not do as good a job. They are somewhat, you know, they can tolerate mm. the, the pyrethrins and they have to go back to the organophosphates like acephate or right. something like that. Wow. But uh, they're, they're just, uh, just tough to control. I, I know, I, and, and I looked in our um, red book on, on how to control them. <laughs> And uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, had the same only only a couple of things were listed to control them. For example, uh, on, under beans, uh, gamma cyhalothrin and spinosad were two right. two things that were listed for for beans. And then I, as I looked on down through there, uh, when I got the southern peas, the same two products okay. were listed. So it's the same thing for beans and peas, or gamma cyhalothrin and spinosad. But then uh, on some of the others. Uh, uh, on broccoli, for instance, it lists carbaryl, hmm. bifenthrin, oh. and zeta cypermethrin. Oh, okay. So three products were listed for broccoli. So it depends on what you've depends got, what, what crop you've got, and you don't normally think of stink bugs as being a pest of broccoli. No, but, sure don't. But they, they, they sure they, they, they are. Uh, and this, again, is out of the red book. Uh, okra, <laughs> oh, gosh. it's got carbaryl and cyfluthrin. So, you know, carbaryl is, you know, seven, yeah. carbam eight. So that's, these are two different classes of uh, chemistry here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, it's just it's kind of, yeah, carbaryl normally is uh, considered for insects with chewing mouth parts. Right. For the most part, but that's kind of interesting. Mouth part. Okay. But then I flipped over to, to tomato, sure, yeah, and tomatoes, you have right. a few more, sure. uh, a few more tools in their arsenal that you can use for tomatoes, the carbaryl, Cyfluthrin, permethrin, esfenvalerate, mm -hmm. bifenthrin, and zeta cypermethrin. So pretty much everything that's listed on the others, you can use all of them on, on the, for tomatoes to control uh, stink bugs. Mm -hmm. But I guess the take home point from that is to make sure that you uh, um, uh, know, know what crop you're gonna use it on. You can't just, it, but there is probably one of those that I mentioned that you could spray on all of those. What about fruit trees, quickly? What about fruit trees? Yeah. Your, your home orchard spray oh, guide should, yeah. take, should take care of that. Uh, unfortunately, stink bugs are like uh, a few other insect pests out there. There are not many IPM things that we can do. And IPM, of course, yeah. in, integrated pest management. Uh, not too many organic things out there that I'm aware wow. of other than other the than? old standby, the two bricks. <laughs> You know, you smack them real hard, you, you're going to get the smell. The smell's going to be there, and you've got to watch your thumbs. Watch your thumbs, right. You can mash your thumbs if you're not careful. But wow. if you so do the two brick, you are going to have to deal with the smell. Yes, you are. And that's you know. your organic means to control the stigma. But that, right? is, that is an organic means to control. Wow. Yeah. All right, Mr. D. Not not a, not a good pest to have. Not a good pest to have. Right. Stink bugs do stink, y'all. Stinking stink bugs. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mr. D. That was good. Yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.